Mama B, I'm cooking tonight. And to oh, calm down, come on. Technically, I'm cooking. I'm still cooking, but I'm making completos chilenos. Ooh, so exciting. Chilean hot dogs. Ooh. Nice and simple. Extravagant. Some folks might think it's a little weird putting the ingredients that we put on the hot dogs. But it's probably the, the cleanest way of eating a hot dog. It's probably the cleanest hot dog. Right? If you remove the actual hot dog itself, it's even healthier. <laughs> and the white bread. And you just basically spoon a bunch of stuff in your mouth that's not... Well, the mayonnaise isn't that great either. The mayonnaise isn't that great. <laughs> so basically you can either have the really super healthy version that doesn't have anything. Just don't eat anything. Yeah, just drink water. Just drink water. But anyways, today we're making... Completos chilenos. Yapo, yapo, sipo. I was born in Chile. Once in a while, I craved the completo. Actually, we were watching a show about a Chilean character. Oh, and yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this monkey. You're watching a little bit of it. You uh, really do watch television. We, we actually do watch television. There's a show called Gringolandia, and I got in the mood to make Chilean hot dogs. Papa, we got all Chileno. He yeah. came back to his roots real quick. Yeah, bo, vamos a hacer un completo chileno. I love it when he talks like that. A ver, nos vamos a quedar con el pelo peinado para atrás así. Cuando lo van a comer, van a ser super requisito. Con los avocados. Con los avocados. <laughs> and los mayonesas. <laughs> they also, I think they call it the Italian also because it looks like the Italian <laughs> flag. You know, an Italian would look at you and go, "Ma che? Tú no me puedes decir que cueste italiano." No. To be Italiano has to have a nasomes nice tomato sauce. It looks like the Italian nice flag. Piccolo, prosciutto, pochettino de bocconcini. Pero hoy día vamos a hacer el completo chileno. <laughs> but it looks like an Italian flag, so I guess that's why they call it the Italian hot dog. Ah, right? Wait, Italian, wait, right? Pero ya, po. Como tempo. Como tempo. Como type, type, type. No. <laughs> Bueno, bueno. <laughs> Mucho bueno. Mucho bueno. Mucho bueno. Let's go see Mucho Mr. Oh, Mr. Monkey is sick. Miss Monkey's upset that he's sick. <laughs> a friggin' bunch on the plane was tooting and hanking your brains out. Oh, yeah, that was gross. <laughs> we could have had people over for a new year's yeah. dinner. But. Yeah, yeah, we had to actually change some plans because I don't know if Mr. Monkey got sick from the lady that was coughing on the plane because we went on a trip and I promise I'll be posting that video. We went to Jamaica and there was a lady, she was hacking and coughing, it was ridiculous. It was so bad and she was right behind us and I created like a, like a sweater barrier to make sure that the coughs wouldn't get to the monkeys and uh, I don't know if the monkey got sick from that but his fever got better and here he is, he's just chilling. He's eating oranges, playing video games, taking it easy on vacation and we're gonna have Chilean hot dogs, monkey. I never tried some, one of those. You never had a Chilean hot dog? I'm excited. You're very excited? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to bug you too much because I know you're sick, Mr. Monkey. That's okay. But he's down here, he's playing his games. He's got his own Minecraft stuff going on. He's got his oranges and you had a banana, so it's good. You're eating, monkey. And you're staying hydrated? Yeah. You got your, uh, he's got his, he's got his water and he's got his electrolytes. So we're, we're making sure Mr. Monkey's going to be 100% for New Year's. Yeah. And it's time to make the Chilean hot dog. So it's actually really, really simple. There's nothing super complicated about it. It is tomatoes, avocados, and I'll show you how I mash up the avocados, mayonnaise. And I think you can put some sauerkraut on it. We're not putting sauerkraut on it. It's just gonna be um, these ingredients on the hot dog. So it's really simple. We have different hot dogs, whatever. I got the thicker ones. The monkeys like the thinner ones. I don't make souffles and quiches and um, ra racks of lamb. <laughs> I, I just don't do that. <laughs> That's just not my thing. I just don't. That's okay though, because you do so many other things really well. Thank you. We can't all be good at everything. That would just be boring. So some people are good at some stuff, and other people are good at other things. But you're good at so many other things. Thank you. But if you could cook too, oh, nobody can put it with A man that knows his way around the kitchen. One of the things I find so attractive in a man is when they can cook. I'm gonna have to learn how to cook. <laughs> Step uno, dice the tomatoes. If you are not good with knives or are a psychopath, maybe ask your parents to help you. Before we actually do that, we have to boil the water. 
What I normally do is I drop the hot dogs in the water and I just let it boil in there and then kind of eyeball it. So the water's gonna start boiling with the hot dog in it. I give it like a good five to 10 minutes in the water. That's the way I see it. All right, there we go. I bought like a thousand tomatoes. You probably just need around four tomatoes for this. All right, back to slicing tomatoes. Yes, I cut myself. It's not too bad. Don't tell Mama B. No, I'm good. There it is. Now that we have the diced tomatoes and the hot dogs are in the water boiling. Can you overboil hot dogs, Mama B? Yes. You can? Yes. What happens when they when they get overboiled? Do they like split? Yeah. Okay. The avocados that I use are soft. They're not too soft that they're like, they just gotta be just soft enough so that when we cut into them, they're not like, they're not like black on the inside. Nice and soft that we're gonna make some palta. It's like a guac, but it's only lemon and avocado and a little bit of salt. A little slice down the middle, gently, so you don't cut any more fingers. So we cut that booyaka. There it is, guac. Camoli, gua, gua, camoli. Success! What happened to your hot dogs, bro? <laughs> My hot dogs? Se me pasó la mano, like they say in Chile. <laughs> this is why we have a disclaimer when Papa cooks. <laughs> There's a big disclaimer. If you know how to make hot dogs already, then skip the whole part of me overboiling my <laughs> hot dogs. These hot dogs are a little overboiled. You can't overboil a hot dog. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> like they say in the industry, you can't mess up an avocado. In the industry, what industry? In the completo industry. How do you burn hot dogs when you're boiling them? <laughs> Get out the kitchen, bro. I bet you Mr. Monkey is going to love the Chilean <laughs> hot dog. Miss Monkey? I don't know if she's gonna go for it. So at this part, we've mixed mm -hmm. the avocados and we're gonna put a little bit of lemon juice in there. Just a little bit of lemon. <laughs> for your preference. That's not how the chefs do it. You need to do it over your hand so that it catches the seed. So it's the seeds don't go in your food and you're eating and then you get a bitter seed. <laughs> Avocado, avocado, like they say in the industry. <laughs> Hombre, deja esa cocina. <laughs> This is also a very special technique of making it. Yo, <laughs> why are these hot dogs so big? Yo, man! man. <laughs> what if? Hey, well, like, those are special hot those dogs. Those are massive, man. I stopped by the nuclear power plant <laughs> and, bought, and bought those hot dogs. Mama B's a hater right now, but that's okay because we got avocados in nice. the house. Are you gonna put any salt in that? Yeah, we, we yes, because I do that. <laughs> I didn't forget. This is salt, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit of salt. That's it. Oh, That's you can all put you... a little bit more. <laughs> all right, there we go. Can you imagine if it took all the chefs of the world 20 minutes just to make palta? Yeah. <laughs> you know, only the chefs that care. Uh, only the chefs that care. <laughs> it takes Papa two hours to make completos. Peanut gallery comments coming in from the haters. In that time, I could have made you a lasagna, cannellone. Okay, here we go. Mayonnaise special. I'm gonna show you how to make a sick chileno hot dog. Translation, sick means good. And I'm gonna use a little wiener because this is just for demonstration purposes. There it is. We will put tomato. Shouldn't you use a fork spoon for that? <laughs> no, you know why I don't use a spoon? If you put tomatoes on a hot dog with a spoon, you're putting all the juices in there and it's gonna oh. make it all right. That's why you use and it was the closest to me at the time. <laughs> so now we've loaded it with tomatoes. And now we are gonna put a little bit of the avocado on top. That's the avocado right there. Nice, nice. Now that is a healthy hot dog if you decide to not put the hot dog wiener or the bread in the hot dog. Or the mayonnaise. Or the, or the mayonnaise. If you're just eating tomato and avocado, Yes. That's a great meal. Oh, do you want me to do something special for you for the mayonnaise? Mama B's very smart. Because we don't have a squeeze bottle. So that way you can like, do a nice design. Take it to the bottom. Bonk, 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 bonk. Mm -hmm. Mama B is a genius. Bam. 
There it is, guys. Así se hace po. Así se hace po. Así se hace el completo chileno. That's how you make the Chilean hot dog. That's the way I make it. Tomato, avocado, mayonnaise. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, this is the weirdest hot dog I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Why don't you just go with the standard mustard, ketchup? You know what? This is how it's done. This is it right here. The Chilean completo. Mmm, muy rico. Amazing. Miss Monkey's gonna try. <laughs> there you go. What? Wow. Awesome? Yeah. Sweet. Good. The uh, combination of the um, meat with the avocado, the uh, crispness of the tomatoes, the freshness of the tomatoes, all topped with the uh, mayonnaise, which is both a nice cream consistency and uh, somewhat tangy from the vinegar in the mayonnaise. Ooh! Perfect combination, Papa. Mama B makes it makes me feel so special because it's really a hot dog with tomato, avocado, and mayonnaise. But you made it sound so exquisite. Mr. Monkey have a nice salad mm -hmm. with his hot dog that he's added mustard. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Mr. Monkey. Miss Monkey has opted for the ketchup, but you tried it, so that was cool. It's pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed the. Chilean completo. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see because I'm becoming a master chef as you can clearly see. I love him. <laughs> he's so crazy. He overboils hot dogs. But he's the best. He really is. I'm a lucky girl. I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> yeah, yo. Uh -huh. Yeah, yo.